Hey, what's going on people? Noise here. Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial today and our tutorial will be Pro Tools Setup. Uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe at the bottom of the screen and let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, we flip over here and in order to create a session, uh, you go to File, uh, New Session, and quick key for that is Command N. And there's two options here. You can create session from template, which they actually give you a couple templates in order to do so, um, whether what genre or whatever it is. But we're actually going to create a um, blank session. So we go ahead and tick that mark. And here's parameters. Uh, you have two audio file types is BWF, is uh, interpretation of wave, and AIFF. Uh, we have your bit depth, 16, 24, and 32 bit float interleave your sample rate and your io settings uh what i usually do is i keep it on wave um 24 bit uh because i i can downsize to 16. i actually do clicked interleaved which is uh how pro tools can be able to handle uh two files and combine them into one so basically it's one audio file one interleave file rather than splitting them into left and right so that's what interleave means. Uh, sample rate, I usually keep it at 48, but broadcast quality is 44.1, and I keep it on my last I.O. Uh, this is actually where you'll put your, your interface, whatever you have for analog to digital conversion. Uh, you could do stereo mix or pretty much anything, but I keep it on last use. But once you set up Pro Tools, you should be able to actually uh, actually do it and um, once you set up Pro Tools uh, then you can actually get it and you know what you have to do so then you click OK alright so here you can save your session that's the first thing Pro Tools asks you to do you can actually create a new new folder if you have multiple files or multiple sessions uh, this is where you keep in all the audio files for this particular session will actually go into this folder that you're going to create. So we're going to name this folder. Uh, and they actually name this session. I apologize. Uh, and here is the Pro Tools main window. You have your um edit window and then you have your mix window this is your different boxes so we go ahead and create some tracks so for that you go to track new uh which is shift option n it's a shortcut key for that and i'll bring up this dialog box which you can actually uh, set up different scenarios uh you have mono stereo you have audio track aux input, master fader, midi, and instrument track. And this is where you can do samples or ticks. And this plus button is actually do multiple different things uh, to different. So you can do one mono audio track. And if you need some audio tracks, and you can literally uh, add as many as you need. You can actually, you know, place them as needed. So if I want this stereo track to actually go to number three, then I can put it there, so forth and so on. All right, so what I usually do for audio recordings, um, depending on the genre and stuff like that, I usually, for any vocal recordings, or pretty much any recordings, I use mono audio track. Uh, for vocal recordings, like I was talking about, what I would do here is I would create multiple uh, tracks so I'm ready and I'm prepared for the artist or you know the talent that's actually creating so what I usually do is I create either five or six uh, channels or uh, tracks um, so I'll create five audio tracks and then this is what pops up and they're labeled audio one two three and so forth and so on um, in order to actually change that, you actually just double click on it, and this is where you can actually change it. So, you change it to something 
similar. I recommend doing this prior to start recording so you actually know what's what. So, um, and this is actually, we can actually name every single last one of them. So easy, easy way for me to do this. So what I'll do is I'll copy this, paste, and shortcut key for that is uh, command left arrow, paste, I know it looks stupid, but I, I know when I in the recording sequence and so forth and so on. But you really can name it anything you want. Um, you know. So you can really do whatever you need. Um, usually when you're recording vocals, you're pretty much going to use the same source. So an easy way for that to set up is also... Um, changing all of the inputs on your IO to pretty much uh, the same input. So you see how these are in sequence one, two, three, four, five. You, of course you don't want that. So uh, what I do is highlight all of them and then I would hit shift option and then click. So my input right now would be want my line one and then you see how they all change to my line one. So once I'm actually done recording, uh, of course I would have to actually add, I mean, you can add aux inputs. You can also add um, your master fader. So shortcut key for that dialog box again is shift command N and then shift over to stereo and then shift down for master fader and there's your master fader so that is my quick tutorial of how to set up uh, and get ready for recording in pro tools so till next time i appreciate you for watching i appreciate you for subscribing and if you haven't already make sure you do subscribe to this channel for up-to-date tutorials i'm going to continue to keep doing these and um, pretty much go in depth in more series and stuff like that so again my name is Noise and I appreciate you for watching. Till next time.